Hello friends, and in this video, I will tell you how to get rid of slugs quickly and without any chemistry. Now in this video I will demonstrate how I did it. Look, we had rains all last week, and then when they ended, it was very wet and I had a lot of slugs in my garden. In a few days, they chewed on my cabbage, chewed on my eggplants, leaves and fruits themselves, and also attacked my peppers. But they don't even know that I have effective means and methods by which I will destroy them all. And in this video you will learn three proven ways that will save your garden from slugs. The first most effective way to get rid of slugs on your plants is to protect them from slugs. I did this with lime. As you can see, here I have cabbage growing, which I sprinkled with lime in a circle. The strip is about 2 inches wide, and that's what I did one day later. Look, there are still no slugs on this cabbage, because they can't overcome this obstacle. As soon as they climb on lime, they will immediately get burns incompatible with life. Later in the video, I will show you everything, and it was an experimental attempt. I've only fenced off one head of cabbage, but look at the cabbage that grows nearby. She's covered in slugs. It's daytime outside, and the slugs aren't very active. They do not like heat and direct sunlight. They climb between the cabbage leaves and eat it in the shade. Thus, they destroy my crop. Now I will tell you a little about the nuances of how to make this fence correctly. Before spreading lime around your plants. First, make a recess near the root system, and it does not matter what kind of garden culture cucumbers, cabbage, eggplants, peppers are. This is necessary so that it is convenient to water your plants later. Because lime does not need to be soaked. It will be washed off. And we need it to always be dry. Also, if you have rain planned according to the weather forecast, it is better not to add lime yet. Because the rains will wash it away. And the last thing you need to know about using lime in your garden beds. Lime has a deoxidizing effect, but because we always use nitrogen fertilizers in our beds. And this acidifies the soil. Therefore, lime will help to even out the fertility of the soil. Then I had a test fence. And now, in order to save money and not sprinkle each plant, I took and sprinkled the entire bed along the contour. This is much faster and cheaper. Now not a single slug will get through. And here I want to show you what is happening here in the garden, the next day. Look, a big slug wanted to crawl over the lime to eat my cabbage, but it didn't crawl enough and died. And also look, on this cabbage that I sprinkled lime, there were also slugs. After eating cabbage, they decided to go and eat my other plants. But here they were waiting for a circle of lime and they also cannot crawl through it and die halfway. Look, these are all slugs who decided that they could get through the lime. But they all died. Now I will tell you about the second effective way to reduce the population of these pests in your garden. It is better to use it with the first one. When you have protected your garden crops with lime, the slugs still need to climb somewhere and eat something. And to do this, you need to make baits. We take a plastic bottle with a volume of at least 2 quarts. We cut off the top of it. The bottle should be such that its upper part fits snugly into the lower one. So that you get such a slug trap. Now we will need the usual, cheapest beer. And we pour such an amount of beer into this trap that there is at least a little gap between the neck of the bottle and the beer itself. When you pour, foam forms. We need to wait until it settles. And top up the beer to the desired level. Then on each of your beds, on which slugs operate, it is necessary to place such traps on one side and on the other. To do this, I dig a hole and place this bait, into which the slugs will climb to taste beer, but they will not be able to get out of it. Be sure to install it so that its top is at the level with the soil in your bed. You need to place such baits as close as possible to your plants on which the slug is operating, so that they quickly smell the smell and come to taste it and I place it so low that the slugs can quickly crawl into it. And on the other side of the bed, I decided to make a simpler trap, I took a simple plastic cup. I also buried it in the ground so that the top of it is at the level of the soil in the bed. And I filled it with beer. As you can see, I didn't top up the beer a little. So that the beer level is lower than the height of the cup. This is necessary in order for the slug that wants to try it. I got down a little, tasted it, and fell into the cup myself. That way, he won't have a chance. And such traps, as I told you, should be placed in all the beds where you saw slugs. So scatter the lime around your garden crops, taking them in a ring. We deny slugs access to your plants. But slugs need something to eat, and they can spread to other plants, or they will still try to get out through the lime to your cultivated plants. And so that this does not happen, 
We put up baits, and we lure slugs there, which can't get through the lime, and we destroy them. But the next morning, I came and decided to check out how my traps work. As we can see, there are quite a lot of slugs there. And let's see, as you can see, this trap works well, slugs when falling into beer. Then they don't get out of it. And here's the trap I made out of a bottle. It also works, but not as good as just pouring beer into a glass. So you don't have to worry about making such traps. And just place the cups, or cut off the bottom of the bottles, and install them on your beds. But as you can see, I haven't sprinkled lime on this bed yet. Because I wanted to see how well these traps work. But then I examined my plants, and I saw that there were still slugs on them. These traps work very well, but some of the slugs still go to eat our garden crops, and not taste beer in the bait. Therefore, from this we conclude that it is best to rid your plants of slugs. Set as traps, and also sprinkle your beds with lime. I will also show you the third option, which will also help you get rid of slugs. As I said at the beginning of the video, slugs only operate in your garden beds at night, when they're not hot, and when the sun isn't shining. And during the day, they run away from the garden, and look for a home. And they are looking for it near the city of their food. Therefore, I would advise you to spread some kind of board near your beds. Or how I have pieces of ceramic tiles here. It's always damp and always dark under it. It should lie as tightly as possible to the ground. Slugs will crawl under it. What you need to do. Every morning we raise these makeshift slug houses and destroy them mechanically. Either we crush them, or we collect them in some kind of bucket. In which you can dilute a couple of tablespoons of lime. They will die quickly. So let's draw a conclusion. First, be sure to protect your garden crops from slugs. This is best done with lime. You can use ash, but it is not so effective. Just like eggshells, slugs will crawl through it well, but not through lime. Then you need to place baits in the garden to destroy the hungry slugs, which will not be able to get through the lime, and also spread the boards next to your beds. It will be convenient for you to walk on them, and every morning or in the afternoon when it's already hot. Pick up these boards and collect them. And also destroy all slugs. This way you will save your crop, and most importantly without chemicals. Your crop will be useful and environmentally friendly. Therefore, friends who found the information from this video useful, click like. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. So as not to miss very useful videos. I wish you a clean impression, and good health. See you soon for new videos.